Welcome to another episode of Toyota and Dodge Garage. Today I'm just going to do a little uh, review of this Daywalt job site fan right here. And I uh, use it when I go camping, sleeping in my car, or just at the, around the campsite. Heck, I even use it in my garage when I'm working on stuff. And it's, it's very powerful. Uh, I usually just leave it on the lowest setting when I'm sleeping in the car, have the windows cracked. And that seems to, you know, blow the air around enough to keep it comfortable. So this is the low setting right here. And when you put it on full blast, uh, it's pretty, pretty powerful. So let me try to demonstrate that for you. Let's do the milk jug test and see how far it will blow it on the highest setting. So when I have it on the lowest setting, uh, it lasts about, you know, all night, usually 12 hours on, on the lowest setting until this battery runs out. The battery that I purchased for this one is a 3 amp battery, uh, 20 volt here. So that's what I got for it right there. And this one lasts about, you know, like I said, 12 hours on the lowest setting. I haven't tried it on full blast yet because, I mean, I, t I haven't really needed it. So it's a pretty good investment. I highly recommend uh, checking this out. And it's just good to have around the shop when you go camping, at the beach, anytime, anywhere circulates your air for you. So I'd like to show you uh, some of the features that I do like about this fan. Um, it's got a grab handle at the top and you can adjust the angle quite a lot depending on how you want your air done. And you also have a regular outlet here so if you don't want to use the battery uh, like in the shop here I just plug it into a extension cord and that way you don't have to worry about charging batteries or anything so that's probably my favorite feature about it and then of course you do have the option of these batteries which go way on up into the 8 you know amps 20 volt and um, another good feature about this fan is you have these little hangers that slide out of the sides so you know you can hang it up on the top of like a, a door in a house or you know they swivel so you, you can hang this and use this in many different uh, scenarios whatever you're gonna need it should work for you that's pretty much uh, what I have to say about this fan. It's a pretty, pretty good investment. Thank you all for watching another episode of Toyota and Dodge Garage. I do have some exciting news. Uh, the next four subscribers will get free Toyota and Dodge Garage decals. As long as you send a screenshot uh, that you subscribed. And you can just send that message on my Instagram, which is Toyota and Dodge Garage, and it has that same yellow logo as my YouTube channel. And I really appreciate y'all's support and watching my videos. I do plan on keep on doing some videos, and I do work, so I'm just have to see how my schedule goes, and I'll try to do as many videos as I can for y'all, and do some more reviews, some more camping. Uh, maybe some more off-road videos. It is pretty hot and humid here in North Carolina right now, so we'll uh, we'll just have to play it by ear, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Bye. Welcome to the backyard of Toyota and Dodge Garage. Just a little sunset to end the video, and a few rabbits. So, I got a lot of rabbits 
in the backyard. You can see them.